Hello Floss Tube. Welcome to Just So Sherry. I'm Sherry and I'm Just So Sherry over on Instagram as well. Welcome. Today is the 1st of March 2024 and I know that because I've had another new start today. I've had a few. We will get to that very soon. Um, unfortunately, I missed a week normally. Well, I try and do them every two weeks, but I can say what happened, but so hmm, it's been it's been a bit of a month. So I did my floss tube, and um, I then went away for a retreat weekend. When I can speak, a retreat weekend. Well, it wasn't. It was a shopping and stitchy weekend with some stitching girls, um, and I'll tell you all about that as well, um, and. The weekend after that, which is when I was meant to do a floss tube, and I was going to do one. <laughs> Can we just say I'm 49, right? This far, this far I've been 50. And I had a menopausal meltdown. Ladies, if you haven't reached the menopause yet, it's fun. Sometimes it's really good fun. My poor dad, he got it both barrels, bless him. He came over to see how I was and I was crying and shouting and doing all the things. So I was just being very, very, very emotional. Um, and then the Sunday, I was recovering from being very, very, very emotional. So I missed out on the floss tube. And then last weekend, I was, um, I was meeting my hero, Michelle at um, Stitch in London, the sampler edition, and I'll tell you all about that as well. So it's been a big month for stitching in terms of stitchy events. Um, I've just spotted the cat, that's not my cat, Charlie, in somebody else's garden. It, it appears he has several houses. So, firstly, just so Sherry. It's been four weeks. There's a few. There is a lot of Just So Sherry's I could choose. And some of them may come up as we go through anyway, but the one I decided to tell you about, the girls that I went away on the stitching retreat weekend with in Wales, we were having a stitchy Zoom meetup and it's the first time I'd been to, to, a, um, to one of the Zoom meetups. They have them at half seven. I'm in bed. I, I'm an ad. I'm an ad biddy. We've just talked about this. I'm an ad biddy, and I, I, I like me bed early. So this particular one, <laughs> I joined, and I'm pretty sure everybody wishes I hadn't because somehow there was like eight of us on screen. You know how Zoom works. You've got all got your little Hollywood squares. I managed to turn them all into beavers. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. One of the little squares turned into this thing saying leaky dam. And there was like these piles of wood. And then suddenly they all became beavers plopping around in the river. <laughs> and But it was them. <laughs> To these little beavers around them and oh my god I mean Rachel who's the talking dog stitcher I swear to god I thought she was going to have a, a, a cardiac at one point she was just, she was doubled over laughing so hard and I couldn't get rid of it because I didn't know how I'd done it and it was all going a bit pear shaped I mean I'd only been on the meeting five minutes and um I don't even know how I was oh I was on my phone so I was trying to get it to to go horizontal, I was trying to move the squares around so that I could see everybody a bit better. And it all just went chaotically wrong when I had all these little beavers swimming around. <laughs> it was, it was, <laughs> it was really funny. Only at the time, some of them were laughing. Some of them were like, what has she done? Some of them were just like, gobsmacked um, and it was just yeah and like I said I thought Rachel was going to have a cardiac and then 
<laughs> and I think they ended up having to go out and come back in because I, I still don't know what I did and and so I didn't know I was horrified like oh my god what have I done yeah it was uh, <laughs> it was it's now known as beaver night <laughs> we had we had beaver night and beaver in is slang for something in the UK as well which <laughs> But we'll not go into that one. So yeah, me and my beaver girls, we had a um, we had a laugh, and I say Rachel was just she was bright red. Well, to be fair, she turned somehow. She she I could see her bending over, doubled like her face bright red, and then suddenly she had this little purple cartoon head. <laughs> Got no idea. And she must have done something, but I don't think she even knows what. <laughs> so yeah, I was only there for five minutes and it was literally a chaos and carnage. <laughs> so if you're having Zoom calls, probably best not to invite me. Or if you do, make sure there's nothing, no buttons I can press to make it all go horribly wrong. Um, cross stitch. Where are we with cross stitch? I'm a bit out of sorts because I haven't done this for a little while and I kind of forgotten what I'm meant to be doing. So we'll see how it goes. I have got two finishes. No. I've got one finish, one start and finish, two fully finishes, my usual whips and five new starts. I thought I had more to be fair. Might find some as we go along. Um, and I went to the physical Create Nostalgia and the Thimble, Nimble, Nimble Thimble, the Nimble Thimble, the Nimble Thimble. That's where I went. So it was, I was like a child at Christmas. It was just, it was messy. It was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So let's start with, shall we start with fully finishes? I have showed this one on Instagram. And this is my second of my 12. It was my 12 and 12, but it was, um, the second of my 24 and 24s that I got fully finished. So this is From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. And this is February. And it is just a flat finish. I've kept the glass in. Did I put... I can't remember if I put batten in. I probably did because I usually put a layer on to just try and protect the, protect the fabric and stitches a little bit. Um, and the frame is from Next, and these are quite reasonable. I think it was only like four pound. Um, so, and I did. I changed the two pinks for ones that I preferred. Um, and that's it. So it was done and finished up and displaying for February, not for the beginning of February. But it was February, so I'm counting that as a win. And the other one, this is this is a little bit of an FFF. A finally fluffing finished because I had it done. I've had it not, not quite a year, but this was my favourite one from Nashville last year. And I did it pretty quickly afterwards. So it's been done for at least eight to ten months. And I finally got it fully finished. And it is heart and hand floral etchings and I'm sure we've all seen that they have brought out floral etchings too for Nashville this year which is this weekend so I'm really pleased with that and this is actually an extra frame as well and I think this was only five or six pound that they're not expensive the frames from next and that um they're really good quality so yeah So this is now hanging in my living room. So I was really, really pleased with it. And it was it was literally 
Um, it was probably, it was definitely my favourite pattern before I got them. It was the one I really, really, really wanted. Um, and I stitched it up pretty quick with all the cord for, so I'm absolutely chuffed to bits that, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with it. Finishes. So they're me two fully finishes. Finishes. This is a Mill Hill. And I think this one is called Ice Crystal. I know Chris Crossstitch is working his way through like the snowflakes and the sleighs and all of that. So I haven't fully finished it. I haven't put anything on the back yet. But it is finished. And it actually hangs up on me little, got little wooden chest of drawers um, on my windowsill. And I've just hung it on there because I quite like it. So I was pleased to get this finished and I mentioned it because I got the, the sticky bead mat um, and I wanted to get the beads off it. I wanted to get it done so that I could start and put some beads on my mirrors and Bella Filipinas as I go along. I'm still undecided on that so um, we'll see how it goes but that is my finish. Oh, hang it back up. And my start and finish, that's a good point, I've got a right royal flush, haven't I? According to Chris. My um, start and finish is this, and this is Barbara's Birds. And we got this, this was our pre-stitch for Stitch in London, the sampler edition. So we were given this, beginning of December maybe? So, of course, I started it two days before we were went to go. <laughs> but I did do it and I did get it done. I just picked colours out of the, just all the DMC and I just picked them out of my stash. Colours that I fancied. We were told to possibly do a blue in it. That was our sneaky, sneaky hint. Do a blue in it. And part of... Um, the Stitch in London programme was Michelle did a workshop on how to make this into something which I'll show you. I haven't done it obviously because it's still here yeah, like this. Some people did it at the event, some people left it and I left it because I was hoping to make friends with my craft room again. I've got obviously I've got all this stuff and there's been various people asking me to do a, um, a craft room tour which I will at some point when it's tidy enough to be viewable <laughs> um, but it's also become my office so it's got to the point where I don't want to be here when I'm not working so I thought I'm going to leave it and hopefully make friends with my craft room again and enjoy getting all the sticky claggy stuff out that I used to love I mean I've spent hundreds of hours in here sticking and clagging and painting and stamping and doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Usually weird, usually not very wonderful either. <laughs> but there you go. So that is my, they're my finishes, they're my start and finish, and my fully finishes. So let's move on to, whoops, no, new starts. Let's move on to new starts. I've been at the day. <gasps> Shelly Fry from the Antique Needlework has mentioned me. I was like, <gasps> I feel like I've just been touched by a goddess. To be fair, she's not quite, sorry Shelly, but she's not quite a Carol Salt box with standard because Carol's like the top um, and Brenda and Laura are up there. To be fair, you've got like Sir Laurie Holt. There's so many that are just incredible, you know, incredible at this this art that we call needlework. Um, it's the first time I think I've called it an art. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. But there are an awful lot of people. But anyway, Shelley, Shelley watched the one where I had my castle top on and her brother-in-law is a Geordie. Um, so I feel like I'm nearly related to her anyway. So, yeah. So, but she was talking, reminded me because I had a proper cover. And she was talking about she liked a proper cupper as well. 
And if you don't know what I mean by proper cover, I just mean strong. Nice, proper builder's cover. But I've got rye bean at the day anyway. Well, that was a nice little distraction for no particular reason. So, what have I got? Let's start with the first one that I've started. I think I've got more. I'm pretty sure I've got more than these. Um, but first, week, can I show you this bag? I started this at our... Words are hard. The retreat in Wales that I went to. And the lovely Sophie from Turtle Bay Stitches came and she brought some of our project bags. And I had to have this one because obviously it's the cats. And I put the new start that I started that weekend into it because it was weirdly perfect. And I'll just show you the inside. It's got little paw prints. Isn't it lush? So she's Turtle Bay Stitches and she's fab and she is on a very exciting new adventure. Um, she is the proud owner of Pink Scissors, which is a fabric shop. So if you want your fabric, ladies, from your, your homegrown fabric, um, our Sophie down in Wales. Is she in Wales? Yeah, she's definitely in Wales. Well, she speaks very Welsh anyway. So, long story made very long. This was my Owl Forest embroidery. This was always going to be my Wales retreat start. One of the other girls, Shelley, who's from the North East as well, um, we both happened to have this, so we decided um, a few months ago that we were going to start this at the retreat. And you know how good I am at, at, at stitching on retreats? I'm really good. I'm really, really, really good. And this is my outstanding start. Outstanding. And this was all I did all weekend. <laughs> I get too excited by people and I like, well, you know. So I'm doing this on Capricorn from Sparkly's. And the needle minder is from Michelle. She gave us all one um, as a gift from she's Stitch Mania, I think. So, yeah, perfect fabric to go with my, I'll show you the picture again so you can get the, it will be, it will be a perfect fabric. For sure, for sure, for sure. And this is the one that it was meant to be my Miss Christmas Eve. <sighs> to anyone who missed that story, I picked it up on Christmas Eve, all excited to do Miss Christmas Eve by Mirabilia. And what happened? Picked up the fabric. It's a 36 count. And the beads in that particular mirror, they're not little ones either. They're, they're quite chunky ones, so I need a 32. So anyway, it's coming perfect for that. So then I started, and this was the start I was going to take for that retreat. And all the, um, the lasses, when I told them this is what I was going to do, they were like, oh, you should have, you should have. So this is Disturbed Women by Lucy Bean, Loving Stitches. So I am doing this on, got quite a good start on this. I am doing it on, I think it's, a, is it 32 count? I haven't got my glasses right because I've lost them again. Surprise, surprise. So I've grabbed my sewing glasses that can actually see stuff when I need to read. Yeah, it's 36 count. Um, I would help if I told you what it was as well. 36 count murky. And I just picked black coffee, classic colour works, and a, like a primmy. A primmy purple, it's just a DMC. Three or four one DMC. And I think that's gonna be fab when it's done. So yes, we were the disturbed women. 
very disturbed <laughs> in some cases. <laughs> I'm speaking for myself, girls, not, not about any of you. Not about any of you. Yeah, I'm very disturbed as well, like, sometimes. And then... Put that there. What have I got then? I'm trying to do it in order. This is a little bit of... They're not gifts. Well, I suppose they kind of are. But this was our Stitch in London kit that we got. What was really good about this kit that Marie from Stitches and Diamonds and Michelle, Mama Loves You GB, they're the, the masterminds behind the Stitch in London retreats. Um, and it was about, maybe just about three weeks before, it was quite close to the actual event. We got a, um, a form from Marie saying, can you pick what count um, fabric and what type of fabric that you want which I thought was really cool because normally you would just get a bog standard 32 counts I got whatever um, but no you didn't so they gave us as our kit retreat it was Maud Mary Dodderall and this was a reproduction sampler charted by Michelle who's Mama Loves You GB and I'm sure you all she needs no introduction She's my hero. Yeah, and I met her. And I'll tell you about that in a bit. When we get to the, the gifts that I got, I'll tell you all about it. It was fun. I'm not sure if Michelle thought it was fun. <laughs> but I did. I thought it was great. So, I got a 36 count. And it is, did I? Oh, it's um, it was summer khaki, spy guard, summer khaki, and I got a little bit of a start. I am going to, so we got all the threads as well, all the cold for threads. So the week's dye works in a classic colour work. But I am going to change out. This is corn silk, I think it's called. Is it corn? I think it's corn silk. It's called, and it's the border. And it also goes between here. Um, so there's quite a lot of it. They did have a finished version of this there. And it looks really good. I know it, it is very sort of tone on tone. And it looked good, but still not for me. I'm going to change it. I'm going to do just a darker kind of, the same colour, but a darker tone, um, I think. So, but I really enjoy doing this. And the only reason I stopped doing it on the Sunday um, was because I didn't have me, I've got a, like a magnetic board to keep my patterns on. And I didn't have that with us, so I kept having to put my stitching down, pick up the pattern, have a look, put it down, do two or three stitches, pick up the pattern again, have another look, put it down, do most, and it was just getting tedious. So that was the reason that I haven't done more, because I probably would have, because I really enjoyed it. And I never was a, a Mark and Sampler kind of girl until I went there, and it appears I am now. Because one of the prezzies I got myself is a marking sampler, which, yeah. And we got it all in a folder bag with our name on. That is my name, funnily enough. And it had a bit of thread bling with a Stitch in London on. which was really cool and we got those um, given out I think it was on the on the afternoon of the um, Saturday afternoon we got them because I started mine in my room on the Saturday night and then did a little bit more on the Sunday but then gave up because it was just all too 
It was just too much. It was all too much. And then I watched Chris, the camping stitcher, and her jibber jabber. And it turns out I needed a leap year start. I didn't know I needed it until I watched her floss tube on the 28th and then, oh, it's the 29th tomorrow. I'll have to do a new start. What a shame. Got it. And I've had one that I've really had my eye on that I really, really, really wanted to stitch. But I hadn't picked it as any of me sort of big 2024s or anything like that. I was just waiting for an excuse. Who am I kidding? I mean, let's be honest, we can all wait for excuses, can't we? We all need, we don't need, sorry, we don't need any excuses. But I like to tell myself there's a reason for it, it's not an excuse. And then I watched Laura La La D stitches, um, who's just a doll. She's a lovely, lovely lady. And she's doing, uh, she was doing a leap year start as well. Now hers is, it's in the vein of Lauren, the New Hampshire stitcher. She started a sale, I think it was, I want to say September because it was back to school time, I think. And it was the um, BAP Sal. It was a, a big ass project. So Laura has kind of taken that vein and mixed it in with a leap year. So she's doing a big ass project and it needs to be done by the next leap year day. So she's got four years to do it. So with that in mind, I knew exactly which one I was going to do. So I'll just show you this before I go any further. I got this key fob from Michelle at Stitch Mania as well, which is really pretty. And I have started yesterday our Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery. Now, Jane from Run with scissors, stitch with Jane and Julie. Whenever Jane showed this, I just fell in love. Every time I saw it, I was like, oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, and I don't know if other people feel like this, but I sort of look and think, I can do that. Um, I'm not a proper stitcher. I can't do anything like that. Like, there's loads of proper stitchers out there, like Chris the Camping Stitcher and, you know, Carol and I'm trying to think who else is is it no Christy from um something quilt and the other one's Olivia pumpkin hollow quilts they're all stitches they're all proper stitches I'm just making a few crosses and hoping to <laughs> hoping to emulate some of the great stitches out there like Michelle as well um. So yeah, so I decided I was going to start this and start it, I did. And I have to confess, it's a pretty cool start. Well, I think it's a pretty cool start. Well, this is as far as I've gotten. And the colour palette is just divine. It's just so gentle, really, really gentle. Just trying to pick them all up so you can see them in one go. I haven't put them on thread drops or anything, so. And I am doing them on parchment. Now, who's the Weeks Dye Works? Thick, thick 62? Thick 62. <laughs> 36 count Weeks Dye Works parchment Zygote base. And I had a little piece of this and I did think that would be perfect. So I um, got this sent from 133 Stitch to do the rose bush on when, when I finally got an excuse to, to start it. So started it there and it is lovely. I had to force myself to put this down yesterday. I can't even remember why I did. Why did I? 
can't remember. But I didn't want to put it down. I think because I wanted to just get a few stitches in. I've got four years to do it. So I wanted to just get a few stitches in. And, you know, um, we'll look at the rest when I get there. But I just couldn't stop stitching. And I was feeling guilty because there was other stuff I probably should have been stitching on. Why do we do this? Why do we stop ourselves from stitching on things we want to stitch on? I don't know if anybody else does. Maybe they don't. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I hear floss tubers doing it because I suppose if um, we were total monogamous cross stitches, there wouldn't be a huge amount to show. I'm lying. It's because I want to stitch on all the things. So if anyone has the the sequence to becoming an octopus and having I've got eight legs. So it'd have four sets of arms. So if we'd stitching onto four projects at the same time, I think that would be a winner. Right, that's me Jacob. My last new start. It's my birthday month. So I had two, if you've watched me for a little while, you'll remember I had two, two that I wanted to start for my birthday. Well, two contenders. And I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do the most. So then I had a great idea of why don't I make one a birthday month stitch. So that's what I'm doing. So this morning I started Mirabilia Nightingale. She's gorgeous, isn't she? And I have seen one of the ladies in the Nora Corbett Facebook put her... I think it was there. I think it was there, not Instagram. But she actually put a little candle in here. She charted a candle, which I think I'm going to do the same. Because it was really effective. I really liked it. And I have started it this morning. And I'm using all of the cold four. And they're all in flossway bags. And if anyone's new here, I use flossway bags when I've got lots and lots of colours mainly so that I can put as I'm using a thread I can I can store it back in the flossway bag other than that I would need a really big thread keep and yeah I just I find that 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 way works for me oh Charlie's back he's he's back on our roof he's obviously decided their food isn't good enough well they didn't let him in so and he's a cat you know, you're very demanding. Let me in. I am God. And the problem is I do. So, little start. I say a little start. It's taken me about three hours to do this. So, yeah. And I have started to put the, the face in one over one. So that took a little longer than normal sort of cross stitch. And I'm doing this on fibre on a whim, 32 count. Silver Fox. So started with a head. The theory being if I get her face put in, she becomes real and it'll be easier to keep stitching on it. We will see how this strategy works. Not convinced it'll work, but I'll give it a go. I will give it a go. So that is my this morning start. Right, we'll do a quick turn around like Wonder Woman. Can anyone remember that? She used to do like a, a oh no, I've got, I've got a, I've got a Wonder Woman. Yay. And then I would be all dressed and like look really sexy. Like Linda, what was her name? Linda someone? 
Yeah, I loved Wonder Woman. She was amazing. Anyway, totally sidetracked there on um, being a superhero for the day. More about that to come as well. So it won't be a moment. I'll get rid of all of this and we'll move on to whips. Okay. Well, my new start pile has gone and I've got my whip pile ready to go. So let's crack on. First one I have got is, now I took this to the Wales weekend with me and I took it to Stitch in London with me um, as well. So it's Evanora by Nora Corbett. So it tends to be the smaller ones I think she releases under her name um, and the bigger ones are under the Mirabilia. So, but it's a perfect mindless stitch like a block stitch and I'm doing it on it is called fruit salad by Sophie the stitchy ferret and this is how far I've got and I was only up to about here so I've actually done quite a lot I didn't do any of it much at the either weekend um but every night when I've finished work it was I don't even know why I had a week where I was just really sore so I was climbing into bed after work. Well, not into bed, but lying on my bed after work. Um, and this is just easy to, to stitch. So I am using the cold fall, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm using the cold fall because the cold fall is 310 and it's a Karen Water Lily. This is beautiful. And ladies, if you haven't, and men, if you haven't stitched with Karen Water Lilies, oh, I mean, I could just sit and stroke it all day long. It's just beautiful. So, yes, yeah, so you can see where the Karen Water Lilies are. They're slightly lighter. And then there's a whole load of beads as well to go on it. But this is an ideal. And I'm going to keep this. I'm not going to stitch it unless I'm really, really tired. But I want to get some stitches in. I'm going to try and just keep this for retreats because it is so, so easy. I see some, some ladies go to retreats with all their gear and um, their lowries and lamps and magnifiers. I just want something easy, easy to transport and doesn't take a lot of thinking. I don't spend much time with people. So when I do, I get a bit excited. As those who've spent any time in my company will know at retreats okay this is my this was my heart stitch until I picked up the rose bush sampler but I mean it's still it's still a firm favorite and it's our forest embroidery by it's not by patchwork calendar it is I was gonna say patchwork rabbit it is the patchwork the patchwork calendar yeah, I said that. Um, and I'm on to June, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yes, I'm on to June. And I am starting to get... Oh, you can't see it very much on that. That's it, you can see it a bit better there. So I have actually done nearly all of it. I've got the, the rest of the border to finish. And the other little snail and the the pot at the bottom. I don't know if it's a, is it a pot or an urn or whatever you call it. Does it matter? Is there a difference between a plant pot and a plant urn? Gardeners among us? And I'm a gardener. I love my garden. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's a difference. Maybe it's the shape of it. I don't know. So anyway, getting there. So I am, so all of our full coverage girls, I am nearly 50% complete. So over the moon. And funnily enough, I was looking forward to getting on this square because I really like the colours. And yet I haven't, I don't know whether I've just lost a little bit of love for it. I don't know. I don't know. What have I got next? 
I was looking at the ones that come next to decide which one did I want to stitch first to try and increase my love for it again. And I'm not sure. Because now that I've got all three in, I can go to oh that way. I can go to any one of the three below. We will see. I will have another look. But I am trying to keep this plodding on. And I first saw this on Samantha the Hugo Stitcher. She was stitching it, but she's doing it on a, a low account, so hers are much bigger. And she's put them as inserts into our project bags and look amazing, they look fabulous. Um, but that was where I saw it. And I decided that, yes, I wanted that, but I wanted to do it. So I'm doing it on 40 count ballet slippers with all the cold for owl forest threads. We were talking about this at the weekend. Um, and there's two different types of threads you can get from Owl Forest. You can get like, I don't know if it's the Russian threads or where the threads come from. But you can get them where they're, they're done with the cheaper threads. Or you can get them where they've been over dyed DMC. I've got the cheaper ones and they are quite, they're not smooth to, to pull through. Sometimes it can feels a little bit, but the shipping from Owl Forest is so expensive that I didn't really want to spend a fortune on the threads as well if they were just as good and I don't they probably are just as good some of the girls at the weekend had the DMC version Shelley who's doing the other bit like Cat Bayon Cat whatever you call it and um, she's got the more expensive ones so she's got the DMC and that, that's certainly in a lot smoother. So just be aware if you go onto their website, there are two versions you can get. Slightly different colourings, but I mean with these colours, stuck to, stuck to my needle minder. With these colours, you're never going to get the same anyway, the types of, of variegation in them. But there was... A difference in the colour between mine and Shelley's as well. Um, it wasn't actually this one. It was because we're both doing the Bay and Cat. Bay and Cat. We're both doing the, the, the orange cat. Shut up, Sherry. Move on. Move on. Show something good. What else good have I got to show you? I've done a little bit more on this. Now this is another one of my... 24 and 24 and this is the blue flower seasons of the heart spring and I am doing this on I just found a, a bobbins flown out so whether I've used it hmm. I need to sort that one out later I'm doing it on, I think it's platinum. Yeah, 32 count platinum by Zweigart, which is a, a standard go-to. I do not know where I got this needle minder from. It would have been at one of the retreats last year, so I'm sorry, but I don't think I know. Unless it was from Etsy. I, I, I don't know, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, But this is how far I am. So I have done much more of the heart and a lot more of the, the vines and the, the flowers. I've had to fudge a bit in it. And I don't like fudging. I don't mind if it's just one little fudge, but I've had to fudge, I think I'm a couple of stitches out and I can't even remember where now. So it just goes to show I shouldn't really be that bothered and I don't even know why I'm telling you because I probably wouldn't have even noticed because bear in mind I can't see it. So yes, I'm having to fudge this a little bit. I have gone a little few stitches off. Um, but it makes me happy when I hear people like Laura from Laura and Brenda. Laura in the... Uh, Brenda in the serial starter even. Um... I remember watching a floss tube with her and she was talking about her mum 
and our mum had been saying, oh, yours are so beautiful and mine, I always have little mistakes in them and this, that and the other. And I always remember Laura saying, mum, half of mine are fudged, you know, they're not all perfect. And that gives me great hope that, because she's a proper stitcher, you know, she, she knows what she's doing. So if she's allowed to fudge, then I reckon I can fudge. This one I am loving, absolutely loving at the moment. This is another modern folk embroidery and it's the two Quaker sisters. And where I was, was up to about here on the first one. And I had just done like the first part of the second one at the beginning of February. Let's see where we are. I'm not finished. Don't get too excited. But I am quite a bit further. So I was up to about here-ish. Haven't done this, so I put all this in. I've done all of this is take some stitch in mind because it's just solid. Um, and this one has come out lovely. So that is the first one. When I um, go in my book of days and I write down what I've been doing, I've just got Quaker Sis 1, Quaker Swiss, Swiss? <laughs> Quaker Sis 2 um, to show which one. So that's Quaker Sis 1. And this is Quaker Sis 2. Complete with work and thread. Has that got a work and thread on? It hasn't. It hasn't got a work and thread. Actually, I haven't noticed that many work and threads this time. Very unlike me. Just in case you thought I'd turned over a new leaf. No, I've still got my work and thread. This is coming up beautifully. So what I should have said was, this is just an antique white 32 count linen. And this is the one that I got it. I got it at Harrogate and it was just in a in a packet in, at one of the stalls. But it's a 32 count. I think it's just a, a grey as well I got. I don't think it's anything. Um, it's, it's nothing fancy. So the theory is, when I was at Stitch in London, I was going to have a word with Lisa from Atelier Frames. Um, and if I stand up, it might be better. I was wondering, so the, the theory is you've got the, the words in the middle. Because I was all of it is, am I going to, how am I going to pull them together? How am I going to pull them together, but actually have them different at the same time? Um, and one lady suggested changing the fabric. And... I ended up going with that idea. So I changed the fabric to grey and I'm using tin white, which is 01, DMC 01. Um, and the blue that I'm using is 3768, just DMC 3768. So now what I'm going to do is the words go in here. You can see I've started and the one over one, which is fine. But um, what I'm now going to do is words in there and there's words in there. I'm going to do those in the same colours. I got distracted. What, what I was going to say was, I was going to have a chat with Lisa about putting them both in the same frame. So like having a, a mount with two, two spaces for the each. But actually having them all housed in the same frame. I don't think I'm going to do that now. I think I would prefer them in slim frames. So with very little. Very little, what do you call it? Excess, surplus, whatever you call it. So to have them quite thin. But in the same frame. Sorry, the same type, the same colour frames. So fr matching frames. It's difficult, you know, being me. It's difficult. Um, matching frames so that you can tell that they are together. And then doing the words in the same colour. So that's what I'm going to do. I, as yet, have got no clue about what colour 
if you have an idea, please tell me. Um, I've been, you know, as you go through your colour wheel, and I've been thinking yellow, no, lemon, mm, no, green, no, I'm not a green, um, red, purple. The only thing that I kind of thought was maybe like a primmy, a prim lilac. Um, Having a quick look to see if I've got something like that sort of lilac. That was the one that sort of landed in my head and hasn't left. But I mean, the only other is I could, what do you call it, revert back to my favourite thread, 3799. I could revert back to that and that might work you know just like a charcoal I don't know if you've got any ideas let me know but I am absolutely loving stitching on these loving 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 them loving it like that is that a song? I think that's a song And my next one is my, oh sorry, I thought I'd unzip them all. And that's got my microphone today, proper posh, proper professional. A lot of luck left. And this is how I lose threads. Now you know why I keep things in floss wear bags when they've got um, lots of colours, because <laughs> it really would be a hot mess. So the next one is my third of my 24 and 24, which is the March Quaker by From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. And I know it's the first of March and I'm not done, but but as, as I've been doing loads of stuff, been retreats, I've been shopping. And I fell in love with the Quakers, the Quaker sisters. And then I fell in love with the rose bush. That's why I was feeling guilty yesterday to stitch it on the rose bush. bush the, the rose bush. Because I was thinking, I need to get the march done. I need to get the march done. I need to get me march done. And I just felt really bad. And I ended up picking up something else instead. So I was obviously just procrastinating because I didn't want to do march. But I will. I will do it. I am enjoying this one, I have to confess. It is nice. And I'm doing this on a 22 count hard anger. And I had a chat with someone. It was Megan from Megan Coffee Crafts. Um, at the weekend we were talking about hard anger. Because she'd only brought one 20 count with her. Um, I'm a, I tend to gravitate to a linen or a high count Ada. Because I find Ada easier to stitch on. And what I didn't realise... You know, every day is a school day. Hard Anger only has two threads in the crossover. So in the waft and the wave. The waft and the wave? The waft and the weave. <laughs> yeah, chucking it in the sea. Um, the waft and the weave um, only has two threads. Um, which obviously makes it ideal for cutting because it's got less, less threads. So that was my march. Hopefully I'll have done by the next floss tube and I will not leave it more than two weeks this time. Definitely not. Sorry, making all the right noise. Next one is one of my one of my big ladies. One of my big ladies. She is my Gaia. Bella Filipina. I'm really loving this. There's me saying I'm a linen or a um, Ada, and this is on even weave. <laughs> I love how I make a liar out of myself quite regularly. So, when last you saw her, I have 
done all of the I've started working down here so all of this is all new um, I've continued to sort of fill in this looks like it hasn't got anything in but it has it's it's white um, and that in the middle is all white as well it looks again like it's blank but it's not it's white so I'm just she's a bit like winter rose manor I'm just plodding with her I'm just doing a little bit every every sort of week do a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and she'd be lovely and this has been done on a 32 count daffodil that I got from Lakeside of my it was my fabric of the month last year beginning of the year-ish say beginning of the year it was March April some, somewhere around there but it's perfect for that or I think so anyway and that is um, I haven't told you where any of my other bags are from probably not enough whip bags it's probably Sarah I'm making it up <laughs> making it up this now this is not enough whip bags because this is the Jane Austen um, and I had this conversation with Sarah because I got it from the last Floss Friends retreat I was at so we have all seen this we all know this we all love this we probably don't but I'm assuming Winter Rose Manor oh by the incredible Brenda Gervais And this is where I am. So again, she's a plodder. So for this one, I have started filling, I finished the pot. Is this a pot? Is it an urn? Answers on a postcard, please. So I've finished that. You can see it much more in real life. Um, and then I've started on there because I was waiting for the Havana to come I ordered some more so started on that and I've started putting I've done another tree another couple of trees I think and a little bit more of the snow down here I've done I was going to say another tree I've just said that and I've done the fence started started to plot the fence in so again this is a plotter a bit at a time just keeping going and I did have to fudge this one at that corner. It's got one one stitch. I was one stitch too less or something like that. But it wasn't where I could fix it. I do if I if I can see where I've gone wrong and I can fix it relatively easily, then I will. I know Jean Lee says never forwards. I mean never backwards, always forwards. I know. And I know she's like the master of cross stitch, but I like to do it right as well so and that has been done with all the cold for like I say I had to wait to get some more threads in but they're all the cold for weeks dye works and a couple of classic colour works and one gentle art so oh and it's been done on is it milk and honey Yes, 32 count milk and honey. Sometimes I'm even right. Shock myself. And my last whip, which is the one that caused the, the, um, what do you call it? Caused the consternation in me. Is that is that the word I'm, I'm looking for? I was confused, wasn't I? Not that this is um, anything new, but this is another one, my my big ladies, and it is the Snow Queen by Nora Corbett Mirabilia. She's lovely. She's beautiful. Now I'm doing this with all the cold for. 
again on a floss ring with all the cold foil threads and I did do quite a bit on her or him or her so this is where we got to so I've started putting because if you, if you can remember the last time I was in a bit of a knot about what do you call a reindeer other than reindeer because I didn't know if you called it a stag or not. So I've done quite a bit more. The answer to that question, and some people give me the answer, it's in the comments as well. And I did go and have a little, a little research. So reindeers, male reindeers are called bulls and female reindeers are called cows, much like cattle. Um, the same as I discovered dolphins. Male dolphins are called bulls and female dolphins are called cows. Who knew? Who the hell knew that? Because I didn't. So, yes. And then I went on another one because I remember my daughter telling me something about Santi was, was pulled by females, a team of females. So... I had a little bit of a research into antlers and it appears that both male and female reindeer have antlers but the bulls lose them after rutting season and that's usually over by September so they start and lose them September October they lose their antlers whereas the cows the female reindeer keep their antlers while they're pregnant and because of obviously rutting season being earlier in the year they're usually pregnant over the Christmas and over the winter so the females keep their their antlers how how so she is a she she is a a beautiful probably heavily pregnant and still getting on with it kind of reindeer and don't we know that um ladies we know how that works Anyway, back to my rebellion cross stitch. So I did do quite a bit more on her. So I've got a little bit more of her bridle done. Got the nose sort of finished down here. Did some more of her, her breast. And then moved along here. And then started plotting her bridle in along here. So this is going to take a while to do. But it's a marathon, not a sprint. But yes. We have a beautiful Snow Queen and her cow reindeer. Yes. Who knew? Well, I didn't. That's why I had to ask. And then went and did some, some research. But you didn't know I was like David Attenborough. There's a note I don't know. God, imagine me with an awful lot I don't know. Most stuff I don't know. But I do know about bulls and cows and reindeer now. So I will get rid of all of my whips. Let's move on to the gifts. Okay, here's the good stuff the good stuff and if you hang around to the very end there might even be a really special well I think it's a really special giveaway it's only one but it's a good one. so firstly I got Cross Stitch Guild um, I'm a member of the Cross Stitch Guild that I joined at Harrogate last year it is now I believe £39 a year to buy but I would definitely recommend it. Well, I like it. It's got, and I'll show you what it's got in. So it's it, it it's literally a magazine. Like it's got it's got stuff in it. Of course, it's got stuff in it, and it, you get patterns. So there's the pattern for the garden sampler, or a garden sampler. 
there is it shows you how to do flowers with decorative stitches so it teaches you how to do specialty stitches or embroidery whatever they happen to be and um, there's a bit about was was back a place in Europe <laughs> which was the inspiration behind this so there's the pattern for that there is a pattern for a bird brooch I love this the pattern for spring flowers And there's the little book of roses so they teach you how to do you get you get patterns in every issue and at the end you will have a completed needle book and um, with several pages in so it's got this one has got the final final part of the boot, be, beautiful the beautiful new book um, and then there's an extra can't show you this because there's like the pattern for that. And it shows you how to finish your book and things like that. So it gives you all the practical stuff as well. So I like it, I must admit. Um, and I can't remember how many you get in a year. There's four, I'm not sure. I only joined in November. I think I've had three books, so, but one of them I was given when I joined. So let's go in order. So the retreat I went to in North Wales, I went with another 10 ladies. Um, it was organised by Tan, who's the monogamous stitcher, and Rosie, Rosie X Stitching. No, Rosie X Stitches. Um, they organised it and... Oh, I was dreading it, right? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to fess up. I was dreading it. I'm not very good at being with people all the time. I can do a few hours, even more than a few hours sometimes. But I like somewhere to retreat to. Um, so I was very, very, very nervous about spending all day, every day with people. And some of them I'd never even met before. Um, and that was what was really cool about it, actually, because some of us some of us knew some and, and others knew others, but nobody really knew everybody. So it was a bit of a, I suppose, a bit of an experiment <laughs> to see <laughs> if we would end up like Lord of the Flies and we'd all end up killing each other. <laughs> we didn't. Um, I'm sure there were fleeting thoughts. <laughs> But we didn't. Um, it was a cracking weekend. Um, and there was other floss tubers there. There was Rachel, who's the talking dog stitcher. Um, Sophie, who's Soph Soph. Um, obviously, there's Rosie and Tan, who I've already mentioned. I don't think there was any other cross stitchers there. There were businesses I suppose you would call them so Michelle who's Stitch Mania was there and Sophie who's Turtle Bay Stitches and well takes over in about two weeks I think of Pink Scissors in Wales which I'm dying to go and see um, so definitely check out the website and she, she does fab bags as well really really cool um, and then there was Sally and Kate and I'm trying to go around the room where everybody was sitting. We all sort of bagsied our spots and we all sort of... So it was just like basically a big house with... I think it had eight bedrooms. Eight or nine bedrooms. And two of the girls... Two two rooms had girls sharing. So four girls were sharing. Um, I was like, no. No way. No way, I'm too old, I'm not biddy. <laughs> I can't be doing sharing with these young lasses. 
so yeah and they wouldn't want to share one me honestly so anyway so i have to confess i was like i, c I come but i can't i can't share a room i'll bring my tent if that helps but so no we had a fab day and we met the first day at the thimble nimble nimble thimble cannot get that right the nimble thimble so me and Charlie drove down from Newcastle and it was about five hour drive to I think it's near Mould in Wales so we went there and Chris had kindly let us use the room upstairs for our stitching room I don't know why I'm pointing up I mean it was upstairs but um which reminds me of a funny thing that happens at Stitch in London, but we'll get there. Um, so we were all out to do a bit shopping, do a bit stitching, do a bit shopping. Sherry didn't even get a stitching out. She just did a bit shopping. She went outside. She did a bit more shopping. <laughs> she went upstairs and made a cup of tea. Did a bit more shopping. Um, and I chatted to Chris for quite a while as well, which was really nice. Um sort of getting to know her and and who she was and you know all about the the nimble thimble I said it right so when we were there we left about three-ish so it took about another hour and a half to get to Prostatton where we were staying and it was basically just a big house that we we booked for the weekend it was fabulous and um, really really incredible definitely I would definitely go back without a shadow of a doubt for that type of event it was it was perfect massive living room huge square tables we all sort of sat around the table on there was like three big set days and there was some chairs and we had some floor dwellers amongst us so um rosie and sophie turtle bay stitchers um they like to sit on the floor and stitch so they were happy on the floor um and i was going to say us oldies but yeah some of the older ladies were, were on the set days, so. And yeah, we just ate and had fun and stitched a little bit. Sherry stitched a little bit. Um, but it was, and then on the Tuesday, we went off to Create Nostalgia and met Mary. <gasps> I mean, if you go to Create Nostalgia, Ask Mary if you can go to her toilet. The, she's got like antique samplers on the walls and I couldn't even get to the loo for looking at them. They were incredible. Absolutely incredible. The other girls went for, um, she baked us some scones, which was really lovely. And she had like, um, I don't know whether it's like a tea room. I didn't go in it. It was like a conservatory where the girls all went and sat and had a cup of tea and a scone. Um, and I just stayed in the shop. <laughs> it's a running theme, isn't it? I don't get out very often, you know. So, so we did that, and we came back, and we all ate, and we tended to eat in two sittings because the kitchen wasn't big enough. Um, and it all worked out quite nicely because some wanted takeaway, some didn't, some wanted to cook, some were happy eating from what was cooked, some wanted to do their own things, and it was fine. It just worked. Um, and then on the, the Sunday morning, we all sort of bid farewell around 11 o'clock in the morning um, and and headed home. So, yeah, it was it was a fabulous weekend. I have to confess, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I was really nervous, as I said, about it. And it was it was just lovely spending time and spending time one on one. Oh, Jess was there. Sorry, Jess. Um and Jess was in my bed as well at one point. I didn't share my room with her, but she did come and sit on my bed for a little while while I was watching the football. Um, and Sophie did, and Tan did. There was, there was a, everyone piled into Sherry's bed at one point. <laughs> I was like, all right then. Um, but it was really lovely getting to know them all a little bit more and getting to know people I first hadn't met before. Um, just really, really fabulous, fabulous weekend can't recommend it enough if you've got somebody who can be bothered to organize it like i can't so thank god for tan and uh, rosie because i just turned up and was me <laughs> and that was about it that was about all of my contribution to the weekend so 
when I went to the Nimble Thimble, I got it right. I've missed a start. I've missed a new start. I've just spotted it. Knew I had another one. I'll show you it next time. But I did start the Meadow Roll from Cross Stitch Guild. I'll show you the pattern. Um, which is a spool. So I have started that as well. There you go. There was a, a bonus freebie for anybody who's still watching for sewing. Sewing? Stitching, Cherry. Stitching. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got a lot of these I got because I never see them anywhere. So I got the Wee Santa 2021 and I got the Wee Santa 2023. And each of them come, came with the, what are they? The beads. Yeah, they're just little red and white beads. Where are they meant to go? Well, I think they're just dotted around. Yeah, some just some little red and white beads dotted around. And this one comes with the little gold beads. And I got this. Now, this had been in my wish list somewhere. And I saw it, so I picked it up. Isn't it just adorable? This is me. I had a little house in the woods like that. With a few trees around us. I'd be happy. I'd be very, very, very happy. I got Noel en bleu. My Lila Studio. I've got Noel en red. <laughs> that was my French way. En rouge, I think it is. Um, so I picked up the blue one. And I got the Autumn Quaker. Again, a lot of these, I wanted them. And it was just because they were there, I thought I'm going to get them. Tiny Town, Big Hearted Tiny Town. Laura from La La Days just finished this and it's really, really sweet. I got... Now this comes with an extra. It's a shepherd's bush. Ah. Busy Bees Stitching Tray. So it's the full kit that you get. The threads and the fabric and I got the tray as well it's got a little little hive on the side so obviously this stitches and then goes in inside so that would be super cool I got these they were reduced actually when I was there so it was a Mill Hill frame and um, one of the buttons and beads It's a wonderful life. So I got them. I got Lila Studio again. I got Spring Quaker. I'm not, I love the border on Summer Quaker. I absolutely love the border, but I don't like the C in the middle. I've got no. For being a cold water swimmer, I don't know, I just don't have any affinity with Stitch in the Sea. Um, but I do like the spring one. That won't get done this year, but I've got it anyway. I got... Is that Blackbird? Yeah, Blackbird Designs. Violet's Blue. Which again, a lot of these had been sitting in wish lists. So because they were there in front of me face, I am having them. And I got some of this black perforated paper. Perfect for doing Halloween, Mill Hills and all that sort of stuff. So if anybody's after some black perforated paper, the Nimble Thimble has it or did have it when I was there. And this one comes with a tail. Strawberry Fields Forever. I was talking to Rachel, the stitching, talking dog stitcher, 
and I think she'd picked up, no, it was Octopus's Garden that she'd picked up. And I'd just been watching Sarah's Stitchy Spot and they're doing a, now what, what's it called? Musical mystery tour, like a Beatles. And some of them have been doing musical mystery tour, Sal. So, and it's like somebody's done all the Beatles ones on one piece of fabric and they look really good. Now my dad's a Beatle and I love my dad. I, I'm a daddy's girl all the way. Um, and I kept looking at this thinking, mm, one day, one day, one day. Um, and she, I was saying, oh, and, and she, so she picked up Octopus's Garden and she said something about strawberry fields and I went, do you know what, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do strawberry fields. She went, I know they didn't have it or I, I would have gotten it. I found it. I found strawberry fields. So as I was looking through the, the bins, I'd put that on the side on top of other ones. And I was busy chatting to Rosie and Rachel came down and went, oh! and I was like, yes, I know, I'm over the moon. She walked away and she tried to slide it. She was like sliding it away. And Rosie, Rosie told on her. She went, eh, Sherry, have you seen what she did? I was like, hey, get that back here. Get that back here right this instant. So yeah, when an, ever anything went missing all weekend, it was poor Rachel was instantly in the frame for being a tea leaf. So yeah, and as it happened, we went to create nostalgia the next day and they had one. So actually it all ended, all's well that ends well. Both me and Rachel had have now got strawberry fields forever. Now I was doing Nessie Mitchell with her um, by Michelle, Mama Loves You, JB. So we've said, as soon as we've finished, Nessie Mitchell will make this our next joint stitch. So I'm looking forward to that. Although she needs to, she needs to take a while because I haven't got room to fit anything else in at the moment, I don't think. So, and then I got these little beauties. And I got drawn thread, a year of flowers. Rosie convinced me to get this one because she said it would be an ideal thing to fill when I've finished patchwork calendar. So that'll be cool to be able to do that. And I got this, an open heart by the drawn thread and it's the kit. And what she does is she kits it up with everything that you actually need. So all the correct threads, the correct fabric, it's all done for you. So it's a real treat to get a, a kit. Um, so I did pick up this one. I probably wouldn't have bought the ones that I bought had it not been for the models. The models are just outstanding. I mean just sublime absolutely beautiful um and it wasn't until i was looking for something that caught my eye on this on the wall and i thought i was like that's really lovely that's really really lovely and then i looked back at the the pattern and i had looked at the pattern and discarded it and then when i looked again at the model and thought no i need that so there is no substitute whatsoever for seeing the models this was also, although to be fair, I did pick this up just from the pattern anyway. But then when I saw the, the model, I was like, yeah, love that. Again, it's got all the threads, the, what do you call it, fabric. And the last one I got was Moonlight Garden. And I got the full, the full kit. If you hang around... This might be the giveaway. Not the kit. No, not the kit. I'm not that rich. But I might already have this as a pattern. But because it was a kit, I thought I'm going to treat myself. So that was Nimble Thimble. I then went to Create Nostalgia. And that is the tiniest, packed with the most wonder just float the ceiling like goodness just amazing 
I got buttons. So I got, so where's my glasses gone? Oh, there they are. Just another button company. They were the Halloween buttons. And I got the Christmas buttons. You can't really see the. It's like they've got little, little socks, little elves, little poinsettias, um, buttons in there. So I've got that one as well. Got some pins. The little cat. And this is. Just another button company as well. Some Halloween buttons. Buttons? Halloween pins even. Some more Halloween pins. And autumn pins. On the lush. And they're the, the they're the shiny things, aren't they? They're the shiny things. And I saw this and loved this. Autumn Harvest. And that's a Mill Hill kit. Now I did buy, I didn't show it, but I did buy Michelle's um, Liz from her owl. So Mama Loves You, GB. And she was doing a, a parliament, a parliament of owls. I did buy Liz because she was, she was um, only available for... Was it 49 days she was Prime Minister for? And the less we say about that, the better. But, um, yeah. And I, I just loved this. I think it's the colours and the swirls. I just thought this was so delicate and Christmassy. Not Christmassy, wintery. That was really lovely. So that's Winter Stag and Halloween Owl. I got this, which was a pack of Christmas threads, which I thought was a really good idea. Oh, yes, I'll have to find a way to, to put, put something over that maybe, but this was a packet of um, Classic Colour Works Christmas colours. got this black sheep and there's one in every family isn't there guess who was ours put it this way it wasn't my brother or sister <laughs> I got jack-o-lantern jubilee jack-o-lantern jubilee and again, it's rare that you see these ones. Um, is this Brenda Gervais? Yeah, it is. So you don't see these very often over in the UK. So I grabbed them. And I just liked this, funnily enough. But there's me saying I'm not really a purple girl. But for some reason, I just liked this. I just thought it was really delicate and pretty. So this is Just Nan. Amethyst snowflake, and I got another Just Nan Winter in the Meadow. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's Winter in the Meadow by Just Nan. I got this Mill Hill, a treasured Noel. And for the money, I'm just having a look how much it was. Lush. Lush, lush, lush. And I just like this. Bend Creek. So, box winter. I'm trying to read backwards. I wonder if they can start and put, oh it is, soap, book, soap box winter. 
Isn't that lush? This is totally inspired by Sarah from St Sarah's Stitchy Spot. Because she's doing this and I love it. I absolutely love it. So Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. Love this. Another one of my wish list that has been on my wish list for about a year. So again, it was there, so it was coming home. Barnyard buttons, and to be fair, there's not a huge amount of actual stitching because a lot of it's buttons. I like buttons. Can you see all up here? A lot of these are, are buttons, if I use that. So, when I do, when I do, me, um, what you call it, me craft room tour, you'll see them a bit closer. And I got this one, Shepherd's Bush, love. I think I was feeling, hang on a second, cause. Oh. I'm back. <laughs> I got the buttons to go with some, what the hell are these for? I don't know what these are for, but the hive buttons. I think they're the one because I got two two lots, didn't I? For a giveaway. Good job I found them. And I got some beads for my this was for Evanora for Minora Corbett. And I got some linen. And some more linen, but just just pale linen so that was create nostalgia now I wonder how far we're at I would really like to do in fact I know what I'm going to do I'm going to do my stitch in London recap separately time's getting on and at, at I want to do justice because it really was worth it. So I will show you the rest of my haul, the gifts that I got myself. Where did I get these from? Oh no, hang on. I finally found the planner I wanted. If I'd just been brave enough to ask Michelle in the first instance, she would have told me where I could have gotten it from. But I found the planner. Oh, it's all going to go wrong. The Cross Stitches Planner 2024. The Patchwork Rabbit. Carry it. So I finally got it. Um, I know I was in February when I got it, but, you know, it's, it's a marathon. Not a sprint. So we've still got another 10 months to go. Um, and I wanted this because it's got things like, um, what do you call it? Retreat details and it's got extra pages. Um, it also comes with patterns that I can't show you. So it's got, a, a, it's a bit like, what do you call it? A, um, book of days. Mm -hmm. It has a spread. But then it has places for you to write extra stuff. So it's like that one. Um, sales, challenges, finishes. So it's got all sorts of different bits and pieces in there. As well as stitchy kindness, what you've getting. Um, retreat, what you've done to your retreat. And there's things like table friends. So, I really wanted it, so I got it. Who needs to move house? I'll just stay here for another year, because I can't afford, I can't afford to move house while I'm doing all this nonsense. Get a grip, Sherry, get a grip. So I got that from Patchwork Rabbit, and while I was there, these have been, these, are, I mean, I, I think you have to have these, don't you? Dream and Miss Claws from Barbara Anna and the biggie, the Mad Hatter's Dreams. Mad Hatter's Dreams? Yeah. 
they have sat in my wish list in Patchwork Rabbit. In fact, they might have been in the card um, for well over a year. So I'm justified with that. I have waited. I have waited. I... Now, I did get a... I thought I had another pile. I know. One moment. Right, I just want to show you the fabric that I got. So I got some Mirage from Picture This Plus from 123 Stitch. And I got quite a lot of it because I like this is the kind of do you know, the one thing about having the window in front of us is that it, it blows out the colour. This is a much darker colour than what it's shown. Uh, you can see there. It's more of the colour. Um, it's quite a deep blue. It's a perfect Halloween-y. Like night sky. Anything where you want a night sky. Kind of dark blue-ish colour. I got this. This is beautiful. And I think, in fact, I'm pretty sure I got this from Peakside. And this is 36 Count Steinbeck by Needle and Flax. And it is lovely. It feels lovely. It's so soft. Really, really lovely. I can't get the colour. It's, it's slightly darker than what it's shown on there. Um, but I'd highly recommend this for... Um, Kind of a, a dark neutral. So anything, I don't know, some Me Shepherd's Bush things, make one there. Anything was like a garden, any theme, anything like that. And then when I was at Stitch in London, Megan Coffee Craft was there. So of course I had to pick up some stuff. Only got three. So I got a, a 40 count. Really lovely sort of mauve lilac-y purple. Don't know what I'm going to do on it. And I love this. Look at this. This reminds me of... Um, now I can't remember whether it's ancient or relic. I think it's... Is it Fox and Rabbit? I'm not sure. But one of them, it's got very similar colours. It's much deeper than, it, again, it's showing the colours blown out a little bit, excuse me. Um, but the ones that I've seen, I've got, I've got one of them. I've got one of them. I think it's Relic I've got, I can't remember. I can't remember. Because it was something I was going to do. Oh, it was Eleanor Rigby, Sarah, Sarah Stitchy Spot. She's doing Eleanor Rigby on it. And I thought, oh, that'll, that'll be perfect, actually. And this is a, I should have said, that's a 40 count as well. And this is a 20 count Ada. Isn't that lush? Isn't it lush? It reminds me of my favourite one, which was a, um, that I did the Halloween thought it was in my draw. I did the Halloween Quaker on last year. So very similar. Very dark and moody. Halloweeny. And then and then I met a lady called Sarah at Megan's shop trunk trunk shop, I don't know what you call it, at our table where she had all our, our stitchy goodies, our fabric goodies. And I picked up a piece of fabric and I was like, oh, I like that. And you know how you're just chatting to, to people? 
like that sure oh it's really nice not oh it's 46 <laughs> no so i put it back sure. well, why not no well because no <laughs> is why not no this is quite like that one mine that's different picked up oh, different now oh, i know christ that's 56 <laughs> and she went what's stopping you i was like no no and she went yes yes <laughs> and i just went i can't do 56 she went why not I said, well, I'll, I'll need to see it. She went, well, have you got a magnifier? Uh -huh. Have you got readers? Right, well, why can't you see it? Well, uh, 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 uh. should I tell you what? She says, if I buy one, if I get one, will you have half of it? And I don't like doing things. I don't like taking things off people. But, and I says, well, I tell you what, let's make it fair. Why don't I get one and you get one and then we'll half it between my trying right it's a deal ladies and gentlemen and Sarah heal my 56 count so that was one piece that we halved and this was the other piece that we halved. Now she got the darker bits. She gave me the lighter bits. I mean they're pretty. They are really pretty. And we have agreed what we're going to do on them. But we haven't agreed a start date. Sarah, I know your name. And I know your full name. Because Marie shouted it out in the room <laughs> trying to find you. And I was like, I know her name. So I know your name, but I don't have your address. So I can't hunt you down. Do me a favour, let me know <laughs> when you think we should start. Um, I would like to say I'm having a mild hysteria. I'm not. I'm having a major hysteria. 56 count? I suspect I'm going to hate this woman for all of eternity. And every time she walked past us, she would just laugh. She would look at us and just like, you know, like someone who's getting you into trouble <laughs> at school. She would, she would just look at us like. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? Why? Why me? Why me? I know what our answer would be. Why not you? So yeah, so that's me 56 count. Watch this space. I won't be watching the space in the fabric because there isn't any. <laughs> Let's be honest. Okey doke. Let's go to a giveaway. I need to go and find. Do I need to? No, I don't. I can just show you on here. So it is the pattern only of the drawn thread. Usual rules apply. Please be a subscriber. It would be good if you were. And um, please like the video. And um, please be over eighteen so I can ask you your address. But it is Moonlight Garden by the Drawn Thread. It looks like nothing on this. The model of it is. I bought. You see, I bought the pattern at Harrogate because they, they had the model there, and it was stunning, absolutely stunning. So I bought the pattern. But then when I was at the nimble thimble i got it right again um like i say they had it as a kit and i just was i was chatting to rosie about it and i was saying i just it took me about three hours to decide to get it because it, it was it was just a bit frivolous and it was but that's okay it was valentine's day the, the week after and i love me and who else is going to get me presents if i don't get me them so Yes. Drawn thread. Moonlight garden. So, we will have the word. Words are hard now. 
we will use the word garden. So if you would like to win the drawn thread Moonlight Garden, but it is the pattern only, it's not the kit, then leave a comment with the word garden in, please. Right, I just wanted to turn the light on because it suddenly started raining here. It's got very, very dark here in the northeast of England. It's bloody freezing as well. Okay, going forward. I'm just going to keep stitching on what I like. I've got my birthday start coming up in the middle of the month. Um, and until then, I'm going to try and refrain from any more new starts because I really don't need any until I get my eye on something. I think, I just want to stitch it. I just want to stitch it. Yeah, octopus's arms again. We're back at that point, aren't we? Okay, final thought from me, which isn't from me, but final thought for today. Look at the state of me. A bit bedraggled, you see? I'm knackered after I talk with you a lot. I'm done. Like a kipper. Okay. With the 56 count in mind, thanks Sarah, C.S. Lewis said, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. Bye for now.